Some of the most destructive flood events in Clackamas County have been due to erosion, where rivers migrate or shift across their floodplain and carve new channels. Flood-related erosion can be damaging to property and buildings by permanently undermining the stability of banks and foundations. The Upper Sandy River Basin has a history of these types of erosive floods where homes and roads are damaged or destroyed. During the 1964 Christmas flood, over 150 homes were completely destroyed by channel migration here in the Upper Sandy Basin. Flooding is a fact of life to a number of people and places in Clackamas County. At the smallest scale, we have locations that experience nuisance flooding that can inundate agricultural areas or cause standing water and disrupt local transportation. At a medium scale, the county has had three presidential declarations in the last nine years for flood disasters in 2009, 2011, and in 2015. Each of these events had concentrations of homes and businesses, roads and bridges that were impacted. And at the broadest scale, we've suffered from huge flood events like in 1996 or back in 1964, which caused widespread damage and dislocation to scores of residents and businesses across the county and across the region. In 96, we were, our eyes were opened wide when we had our first flood. Thinking that this was a hundred year flood, we didn't have to worry about it for another hundred years. Along came 2011. Uh, we were hit with this intense storm, another Pineapple Express. Uh, the river had migrated into people's yards, right up to their decks. It was uh, very scary. We expected a response from the Army Corps of Engineers or governing agencies that would uh, come to our rescue and build a jetty and make us safe again. But little did we know, property protection is up to you. The Sandy is a glacially driven system. It starts on four glaciers on Mount Hood and gathers, you can see it in the water, that that glacial till, it's called, is moving off the glaciers into the upper river and being flushed downstream. So climate change has, has caused dramatic glacial retreat on Mount Hood and throughout the Northwest. What that does, it's effectively a loaded cannon. So when the winter storms come, you have snow falling, then what's called the Pineapple Express brings rain on top of that snow, causes these large sudden increases in flow of the river and flooding bank erosion and channel migration. Climate change means the kind of floods, the kind of high flows that can cause channel migration are likely to happen more often, likely to happen with greater intensity, and because of glacial retreat, they've got more material to move when they do happen. All of that makes the likelihood of channel migration events higher and their severity potentially more intense.